Hello and welcome to another edition of Terry TV Training. Today I'll be talking about Adobe Premiere editing tips, exporting tricks, and saving hints. I'm David Schoen, and let's get to work. Now you may notice an absence of music in this video. This is purely so that we can stick to the task at hand. For editing, you can import audio, photo, and video files into your Media Browser tab in Adobe Premiere to get started. Audio files will appear on the lower level of your editing line, and picture and video files will appear on the upper tiers of your editing line. Drag any files you like to the editing line and move them by clicking and sliding them along the line. Double click a video file to play the video in the preview line. This is to the left of your editing screen. Use I to declare your video's starting point and O to select your video's ending point. Drag only video by using the lower button to the left. Drag only audio by using the lower button to the right. Use plus and minus on your keyboard to zoom in and out of the editing line. This is so that you can see a specific scene or the project in general, respectively. To cut film with its accompanying audio, hit C on your keyboard and click your desired cutting location. Hit V to return to your usual clicker. To cut film without its accompanying audio, right click your video and select Unlink. That way your audio and video files are not attached to one another. Now hit C on your keyboard and click your desired cutting location. Then hit V to return to your usual clicker, just as before when the videos were linked. To fade film in and out on the screen, move the mouse over the beginning or end of your video file in the editing line. Then. As soon as you mouse over and see the red arrow, right-click the start or end and select the Apply Default Transition button. Make sure there's a little room between the file next to the video so that it can fade to black. If you'd like to dissolve your film into your next editing line piece of media, or vice versa, then leave no room between your two files. With externally recorded audio files, such as from an external microphone, select the video, its accompanying audio, and your microphone's audio and right click the three selections. Then hit synchronize, then select audio to link up your video and sound. To adjust audio volume, right click your audio and select audio gain to increase or decrease audio numerically. To key within a video, go to the effects tab and type in ultra key and drag it onto your video. Then in the Effects Controls tab to the left, select the eyedropper tool and select the color within the video you'd like to keep. Normally, the color will either be black or green. Then drag any background file you wish under your video and adjust the scale to make this your video's background. To add text to a screen, select Graphics and Browse. Then select the Basic Title tool, drag it over your video, and type in your text. From there, you can adjust the size, location, and font of your text on the screen. You can fade text in and out on a screen using the right-click Apply Default Transition button as well, just as in a transition for a video. Now let's move on to exporting. Always remember to save your file using Command S in case of any Premiere glitches. After your file is saved, go to File, then Export, then Media. To export a video at the highest possible quality, select H.264 as your format and match source high bitrate as your preset. 
choose your file's name and destination under output name, and hit return to your export video. This may take a long time depending on the length of your video. On occasion, the Adobe Media Encoder will open up after you hit return for exporting. In this event, make sure your output name and file destination are correct and hit return to start the exporting process. A green check mark will appear after the video is done exporting. Now let's wrap up with saving tips. To save an Adobe Premiere video, always hit Command S. Going to File Save may cause the application to glitch on occasion. Therefore, always hit Command plus S to save an Adobe Premiere file. Lastly, never delete any files downloaded and imported into your movie until your film is exported and finalized. Special thanks to Sidney Colby, David Gewertz, and to you for watching this video. Enjoy your classes and your clubs. Thank you.